Hi, I'm Tazza Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really easy powder to foam shampoo. Now Belinda does have another video on a powder to foam cleanser, which comes in a couple of different variants and you can contact us on the email below for the free formula. Now, let me show you how easy it is to make this shampoo. Okay, so here I have all my ingredients. Now, these are quite minimal and pretty simple ingredients, but they do make a really cool and amazing product. Now, the good thing about this product, it is waterless, so it's quite sustainable as it doesn't contain any water or water in um, its production either. So it's quite sustainable. It's a really good product also for travel as well. It's you know light to carry, small, you don't have to worry about uh, leaking in your luggage and all that sort of stuff. And then when you get to your accommodation or your hotel, you just add a little bit of powder to your hand and then you add a bit of water, rub your hands together and it foams and there you go, well, you can wash your hair. So firstly, I've got um, some plain white mica here. Now to this, I'm gonna be adding some Macy to 960 by Agrana. So this is actually organic cornstarch. This is gonna give it a really nice feel and also to help it spread. So next is my surfactant. So this is the Hostapon SCI85P. So this is the powder form. So it's an isothionate. This is going to clean the hair and also make it foam. So if your hair is um, more on the oily side, you can also increase the surfactant input. Again, if you want it to foam a bit more, you can also increase the surfactant input. To help this spread through the hair quite easy and also to create a really nice um, slip, I'm gonna be adding some xanthan gum. So this is the Cosphoderm Exof. And I am gonna be adding a little bit of some Gua Hydroxypropyl Trimonium Chloride. Now, this is not only gonna help it spread through the hair and also give it some slips, it's actually gonna make the hair feel quite nice after wash off. Now, I'm just gonna gently stir that together until all the powder is combined. Now you can of course add a preservative to this. That is optional as this type of product is gonna be used in the bathroom or the shower or an environment where there is going to be water. So it may be at a risk of contamination, but if you use the correct packaging, it shouldn't pose much of a risk. So if you're using airtight packaging, so air can't be introduced to create the contamination or the risk. And also so consumers aren't sticking their hands in there, it shouldn't pose much of a risk. That's why we say it's optional. Right, so you can see here that there is all homogenous. Now I am gonna cover it and leave it overnight just so we can see if there's any signs of instability or anything wrong with it the next day. Okay, and here is what my shampoo is looking like the next day. And I'm gonna show you just how well it actually foams. So we're gonna need probably about a teaspoon, I guess depending on how much hair you've got really and how thick it is and the length. And now I'm just gonna add a bit of water. As you can see, it's foaming quite well. There's no like lumpy bits of powder anywhere. And it feels really nice and creamy. So I just wanted to show you what my hair looks like after washing it with this shampoo. So as you can see here, it's super, super shiny, which is amazing. And with the help from the starch, it's actually helped to absorb um, excess oil and sebum in your scalp. So my hair is generally quite oily, but as you can see here, it's looking really, really nice. Um, and it's also really smooth as well. And this is thanks to the gua in it. This is gonna help make your hair nice and smooth after wash off. So overall, I think it's a really good shampoo, especially great for people with oily hair or if you're looking for a bit more shine, this is definitely perfect for you. Well, there you go. That's how easy and simple it is to make a powder to foam shampoo. Now, if you do wanna add this product to your brand or your product range, please contact us for the free formula. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.